Hello and welcome to EverQuest. Today we're going to do uh, a simple little guide. Uh, so we're going to go over the buyer command in uh, the bazaar. So the buyer command lets you become a like a vendor that lets you buy things that you want at the prices you want. So it's kind of cool. Uh, as you can see here, I have uh, a lot of buy lanes set up at different prices. I even put Chrono in here, but I put it at one platinum as a kind of a joke to see if anybody would actually do it. Uh, because the, it's the weirdest thing. You, I put uh, I put rubies in here at ten platinum per, and they sell to a vendor for I think a hundred and something. And people sell them to me. I don't understand why or the whole reasoning behind that, but it is what it is. But what I've done is I've gone through and I've set up buy lanes for every single trade skill item that I've ever needed <laughs> so far in my uh, trade skill leveling. And I, I, I just put with the price I think it's, it's worth, right? And all these silks, I just put 10 platinum each. Because people are selling them for like thousands of platinum, hundreds of platinum on uh, my server. And uh, to me, they just... For as common as it, like if I, you go farm for five minutes, you're gonna get almost any of this, these things. So I just set up, you know, buy lanes for all of those. And uh, that's, you know, you do that. So to set up a buy, like a whole buy lane, you just pick an item, right? So uh, what's an item that is worth buying? Um, let's say a uh, Ruby site, Ruby site search for that all right and then we get this whole giant list of every single item in the game that's rubicite we wanted rubicite or uh here let's make this just a little bit bigger so we can actually see everything all right so we've got rubicite or we want a lot of that we want 999 of that uh and let's say we want to pay two platinum per just that's probably a low value but let's just say it so you just go create a buy and then the rubicide ore pops over here, two platinum per. So you can see, like I'm buying silk at five platinum per, rubicide ore at that. So you could even do it even more broad. You could type ore, go over here. And there's like every kind of ore in the game, plus other items with ore in it, <laughs> in the name. Uh, so you could just go through here, find a type of ore you want to buy. Uh, see I know this is a, an ore I might need so let's go ahead and set up a buy lane for that for uh, let's do two platinum for that one and let's buy 999 of that too. create buy lane so it's it's a really simple system and uh, it works <laughs> at least on my server it works and uh, I was able to use this to kind of help out with collecting materials uh, a lot of these materials are kind of harder to harder to get and I, I have probably prices that are totally uh, out of whack like uh, I didn't know how much some things were so I just put up put up buy values for them of whatever and I haven't gone through and uh, up those values from that so like, here's another one there's another ore let's do two platinum for that and uh, some of these are below probably the merchant buy value uh, which is probably something I need to go fix just so it's a little bit more reasonable and fair so that someone will actually use my my thing but I, I just haven't had a chance to go through and uh, check all these values out but I my my initial goal was to get everything in the list that I would need to get to 300 trade skills for uh, no regard before I, <laughs> I start to work on 300 in each trade skill so i've gone through and just did that, did that so I'll, eh, this character's not being played she's just gonna fill up her her bags full of whatever people sell and that that seems to work out and then once you have everything you on your list that you want to buy just hit the start barter and then you can't change the prices or change the values that you want to buy after that you can't sort anything so you can't see that i already bought some of these bear skins so i can't Go and modify that back to 999 unless I stop buying right now. But then, uh, so with the the, uh, the user who wants to, to buy something f or sell something to you uses this system. That's the barter system. So let's see what is that. I don't think I have any of this stuff on me that I want to buy. Let's do spider silk. 
spider. All right, so we can sort by buyer, and you can see here's my bard right here. I'm buying uh, spiderling silk for five platinum each, uh, spider silk for five platinum each, and then here's another guy buying spiderling silk at one gold each. I'm going to probably get mine sold to me first. <laughs> so it's things like that. You just got to go through. And so whoever wants to sell stuff can just go through here and be like, oh, you know, I want to sell snake meat search. So there's a snake meat. It's a different kind of snake meat fruit. Here we go. Fruit. Uh, I'm buying fruit for one platinum each and I'm the only person buying fruit. So I might, I might, if somebody has fruit, they might sell it to me. Uh, bear meat is another one I have on me. I, don't, I think the vendor actually buys that <laughs> from something else, but, uh, things like that. So it's a really cool system. Uh, it really makes it easier to, uh, buy and sell things. Uh, I think the free to play free to play players can use this barter system to sell items, but they cannot use the auction system to sell items through the auction house, uh, which is the bizarre, not bizarre. It's a uh, trader. I don't think I can pull it up while in uh, barter mode anyway. So, and I don't have any trade bags on me. So it's, that's a whole different system and a whole different uh, video, I guess. But uh, definitely something to look at if you're looking to buy massive amounts of trade skill items or anything else. I think I put coal, I put Cobalt Grievers on here for one platinum as a joke just to see if anybody would, uh, anyone would bite on that just as a joke. But uh, yeah, so it's pretty, uh, pretty cool system. Uh, I'm <laughs> going to be using this constantly and there's offline mode for this too so as soon as you have everything set up you click offline mode it logs you out and it will uh continue working and i don't i don't think you'll ever have to like log back into the character until you want it want to uh maybe server when the server goes down you'll have to go back and re to set it up but i'm not sure like sometimes if i look at my or like you can look at my guild right this is all my characters uh, so I have the Nomergard trader. He's in, he's selling stuff. Uh, and some of my, my other characters aren't in my, uh, box a lot guild, so can't see them. So it's a really good system. Uh, definitely worth trying out if you haven't. And definitely an easy way to get materials. I, I wake up every morning when I check, uh, when I check to see what's on our bags and there's just tons of stuff, <laughs> all the stuff I need for uh, the next tier of crafting. So it works out pretty well. So uh, thank you for watching and have a great day.